what, Gilbert? Leo's coming over. I'm gonna show him the car Grandpa gave me. It used to belong to Daddy. It's in here somewhere. Here it is! <laughs> Gilbert, the toy box is for toys, not cats. <laughs> Dolly, hi! <laughs> Rosie, Leo's coming over to play cars. Dolly, hide! <laughs> Rosie, play too! <laughs> Not right now, Rosie. Play cars. No, Rosie, you're not big enough to play with these cars. Rosie, big! Not big like that. You have to be big like me. Rosie, help Caillou. Oh, Rosie! Caillou, like many big brothers, didn't like it when his little sister messed up his toys. Now I have to start all over. Leo's here! Are uh, you? <laughs> Hi, Leo. Guess what? My grandpa gave me a car that used to belong to my daddy. Wow, it must be really old. <laughs> uh-huh. And it has doors that open. Can I see? Sure, come on. Hey, Rosie, where are my cars? I bet we can find them. <laughs> Car's hiding. Where? <laughs> I think I know where to look. We have to rescue those cars. It's going to be a big job. I know how we can get them out. Follow me. One. It's stuck. I'll help you. Hey, <laughs> Gilbert. <laughs> Gilbert, that tickles. Got it. Rescue team is ready for action. Hide and see. Rosie, play too. <laughs> So is the red one and the one with the black stripe. Let's use the crane. Here they are. Now they're all safe. This is the one that used to be Daddy's. What have you two been up to? All these cars were trapped in the rocks, and 
we rescued them. That sounds like hard work. You must be hungry. How about something to eat? Yes, yes please. please. Okay, then. While the two of you tidy this place up, I'll go and fix you a snack. <laughs> Go eat. Rescuing cars is fun. Yeah, I like pulling them out with the crane. Vroom. <laughs> Rosie, play too. Not now, Rosie. <laughs> What are you doing with my car, Rosie? Rosie play car too? Caillou wasn't very happy about Rosie playing with his cars. But then he remembered how much fun he and Leo had rescuing them. Do you want to do another rescue, Leo? Yeah. Rosie, can you hide my cars again? <laughs> Rosie hide car. Rosie could help us with the rescue. Yeah, she can drive the tow truck. Come on, Leo. We've got some more rescuing to do. Caillou and the Big Slide. It was a beautiful summer day, and Caillou's mommy was taking him to play school. Swoosh! What are you doing, Caillou? I'm climbing up a mountain and sliding down again. Oh, that's very adventurous of you. You must be very brave. I am. Swoosh! <laughs> well, Mr. Mountain Climber, here we are. Good morning. Are you ready for our trip to the pool, Caillou? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I'll see you later. Have fun. Mm -mm. I will. Bye, Mommy. Caillou was very excited about going swimming. It was his favorite thing to do on a hot day. Stop. Very good, Caillou. Green light. Now we can go. That's right. Everyone follow me. <laughs> Yay! Race you to the swings! <laughs> like to swing up as high as the birds. Hmm. All right, everyone. It's time to go swimming. Yay! <laughs> I love swimming. Yeah! <laughs> This is Mary, our lifeguard. She'll be helping us out today. Make sure you listen to her and do what she tells you to do. <laughs> this will be fun. <laughs> Guess what I am? Look, look, look. Hmm. <laughs> a fish. Right. Come on, let's go on a slide. <laughs> Oh! Caillou thought the slide looked a little scary. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Your 
turn, Clementine. <laughs> Woohoo! You're next, Leo. Yay! Glop, glop, glop. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> okay, Caillou, up you go. That was so fun! I want to go again! <gasps> Caillou thought it looked like a very long way down to the bottom. He wasn't so sure he wanted to slide down at all. Caillou? It's okay if you don't want to slide down. Just climb down the ladder again. Have you ever been on a water slide before? No. It can be a bit scary up there the first time, but you might like it if you give it a try. You know, I used to be afraid to go on the swings. Really? Uh-huh. I didn't like the idea of swinging up so high. I like swinging really high. Yes, I know. I saw how much fun you and Leah were having. I liked the swings too once I tried them. So, maybe you like the water slide if you give it a try. What do you say? Okay. Caillou was still a little bit afraid. But he really wanted to give the water slide another try. You're doing great, Caillou. It'll be worth a climb. You'll see. As Caillou went up the ladder, he imagined he was climbing a huge mountain. Did you like it? Yeah! Guess what I am? Bloop, bloop, bloop. <laughs> I've got lots of arms. An octopus! Right, let's go down the slide again. Okay! I can go down a million times. I could go down a million billion times. <laughs> <laughs> Caillou? Hi, Mommy. I was afraid to go on the water slide today, but Miss Martin told me. Caillou not told his mummy all about the big water slide. So I pretended I was climbing up a big mountain, and I wasn't afraid after that. Just like you were doing in the car this morning. <laughs> That's my brave little mountain climber. And now I can do it a million, billion, kajillion times! Caillou the Sailor. <laughs> Mommy and Daddy were getting dressed up to go out to a party. Pretty Mommy! <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. <laughs> Pretty Rosie! Who's going to babysit us? Grandpa's coming over, and he said he's bringing a surprise. Caillou was excited that Grandpa was coming. Hmm. He wondered what the surprise could be. <laughs> Grandpa! <laughs> Grandpa, Grandpa! <laughs> Hi, Grandpa! Grandpa! Yay! Hello, Caillou. Hey, Rosie, my big girl. Quick, back inside now. It, it looks like a storm is brewing out there. Rosie, pretty. <laughs> you certainly are, sweetie pie. 
What's in the bag, Grandpa? Is that the surprise? The surprise? No, these are just my dirty socks. I thought you could wash them for me. <laughs> Grandpa, you didn't bring your dirty socks. I didn't? Hey, you're right. Come on, if the two of you go put on your pajamas, we can see what I've really got in here. About ships. Do you know what he's looking through? It's for looking at things far away. That's right. It's called a telescope. Whoa! A real telescope! I can see Gilbert. He looks huge. <coughs> this makes him look really close. Good night, Caillou. Good night, Rosie. Good night. Night, night. Be good for Grandpa. We will. Rosie, look! Caillou was afraid that Rosie might drop the telescope. Here, Rosie, I'll hold it for you. Close one eye and look through it. <laughs> Close one eye. <laughs> Grandpa read to Caillou and Rosie about sailing boats and brave sailors and the big blue sea. There's the captain on the bow. The bow is the front of the boat. The back of the boat is called the stern. Why is he yelling? He's giving orders to the crew. And when he gives an order, the crew salutes and says, Aye, aye, Captain. Aye, aye, Kappa. <laughs> Would you like to be my crew? Yeah, yeah. All hands on deck. Aye, aye, Captain. Aye, aye, Kappa. <laughs> Trim the sails. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> Batten down the hatches. Aye, aye, Captain. Batten down the hatches? Yes, when a storm is coming, they have to shut all the windows so the water doesn't get in. That's what that means. <sighs> is Rosie getting sleepy? He's climbing way up there to fix the sails. Oh, it must be scary going up that high. I'll bet it is. Those sailors must have been very brave indeed. What do you think, Rosie? Looks like it's somebody's bedtime. I'll be right back. He didn't like thunder. He knew there was nothing to be scared of. But it was so loud, it frightened him sometimes. Caillou thought about the brave captain of the ship. He wasn't afraid of thunder. Captain Caillou! Trim the sails! Aye, aye, Captain Caillou! Batten down the hatches! Aye, aye, Captain Caillou!
<laughs> Daddy! Hi, honey. Did you have fun with Grandpa? Uh-huh. He read us a book about ships and sailors. He's putting Rosie to bed. And now, it's Captain Caillou's turn. Go on. We'll be up in a minute. Hop on. I'll give you a piggyback ride. <laughs> <laughs> I hope the thunder won't keep you awake. Captain Caillou isn't afraid of thunder. I'm glad to hear it. Good night, Captain Caillou. <laughs> Good night, Grandpa. The thunder didn't scare Caillou anymore. Tonight, he was the very brave Captain Caillou. Sailing. Ahoy, mates! Time to set sail! Come, my friends, and follow me! Come, my friends, we're off to the sea! With a hi-ho, away we go! Sailors to the bow! Hoist the sails, catch the wind, we're really moving now! Sailing, sailing, over the ocean blue! Sailing, sailing, come and join Caillou's crew! I hope nobody gets seasick! Now if the wind picks up, the storm is near. Don't be afraid, cause Caillou's here. I think I see a pirate ship. We better make a turn. Hey, is that a whale I see swimming off the stern? Sailing, sailing over the ocean blue. Sailing, sailing, come and join Caillou's crew. Ahoy, mates, I see land. Caillou, time to get out of the bathtub. Okay, Mommy. Caillou and the Creepy Crawlies. It was a lovely, peaceful morning at Caillou's house. Dolly! Dolly! At least until Gilbert decided to do a little exploring. A little spider, honey. Spiders aren't yucky, Rosie. I like spiders because they have eight legs. Yuck! Rosie isn't very fond of bugs. Caillou liked insects. He wanted to show Rosie that they can be interesting and fun. Maybe then she would like them too. Come on, Rosie. I'll draw all the bugs I know for you, and then maybe you'll like them too. What a good idea. And why don't you bring your drawing things outside? We can have a picnic. Okay. Picnic, picnic. Come on, Gilbert. We're having a picnic. you. It's not icky. 
It's called a ladybug. Isn't she pretty? Pretty bug. <laughs> I'll draw a ladybug for you, Rosie. Ladybug. Who's ready for lunch? I am. Me. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Gilbert tickling me. Gilbert isn't tickling you. He's on the picnic table. Ooh, Caillou. It's okay, Rosie. They're just ants. They won't hurt you. Caillou knew the ants were just looking for food. See how they go in a straight line, Rosie? It's like the way we go into play school after recess. Oh. <laughs> They're going to take the food back home and share it with all the other ants. Mommy, ants go home. That's right, honey. Miss Martin read us a story about ants. She said every ant has a job. Some dig tunnels and some take care of the babies. Oh, wow, look. Here's another bug, Rosie. <laughs> Fuzzy. It's called a caterpillar. Here. Caterpiggle. <laughs> Caterpiggle tickles. Do you want to know what I learned about caterpillars? They go to sleep, and when they wake up, they turn into butterflies. Flutterby. You like butterflies, don't you, Rosie? Uh-huh. Rosie likes Flutterby. <laughs> Ooh! Caillou thought about what it would be like to be as small as a bug. Ah, this is comfy. Hello, Mrs. Ladybug. <laughs> Hello, ants. May I have some apple, please? Thank you. <laughs> Whee! Rosie? Where are you? Rosie flying! Whoa! <laughs> Rosie on a flutterby! <laughs> Here, Rosie. Ooh, flutterby! Come on, you two. You haven't finished your lunch. I think Rosie likes bugs now. Good. Thank you for teaching us about insects, Caillou. You sure know a lot about them. Caillou was proud of what he'd learned at play school. And he was glad that he could teach his little sister about bugs. Nice, Caterpiggle. Look, Gilbert. <laughs> Gilbert's scaredy cat. I guess Gilbert doesn't like bugs, huh, Rosie? Not like us. Silly Gilbert. <laughs> Gilbert! Snowflakes. You just couldn't wait for the first snow of winter. Every morning he wished for snow. No snow yet. Caillou knew he had to wait a little longer, but it was hard. He wanted to play in the snow. No 
snow yet. All morning, Caillou watched and waited for the snow to fall. Still no snow. Don't worry, Caillou. The forecast said it would snow today. You just have to be patient. Sometimes waiting for something <gasps> is the hardest thing to do. Come on, Gilbert, you can do it. Jump, Gilbert. Caillou was trying to teach Gilbert a new trick, but Gilbert wasn't very interested. Come on, Gilbert, you can do it. Jump. <laughs> Lie down, Gilbert. Lie down. Stay. Gilbert! <gasps> mommy! Mommy! What is it, Caillou? It's snowing! It's snowing! <gasps> Aren't the snowflakes pretty? Can I go outside and play? Of course you can. Yay! <laughs> Caillou was in a big hurry to go outside. Whoa there. I think you'll be walking around in circles like that. <laughs> I'll walk like a duck. Quack, quack. I'm gonna build a snowman. I don't think there's enough snow for that yet, Caillou. Caillou knew Mommy was right. There wasn't enough snow for a snowman. But he could still <laughs> make snow angels. started thinking about the snowman he was going to build when there was more snow. Caillou imagined himself building the biggest snowman ever. There's more snow first. Look, I can catch snowflakes. I bet I can catch more snowflakes than you can. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that every snowflake is different? They look the same to me. That's because they're too small to really see. Wait here. I'll be right back. Caillou knew exactly what they needed to look at small things. A magnifying glass. Good idea. They're falling too fast. Caillou, quick! Caillou wondered how they were ever going to look at the snowflakes if they kept melting. Look, it's sticking over there. They are all different. It's true. I told you. Hey, how about we make our own snowflakes? How? Come on, I'll show you. Sarah had learned how to make paper snowflakes at school. So she showed Caillou how to make them, too. First, you take a piece of white paper and fold it into a square. Rosie, play, too! Then you take the scissors. Rosie, scissor! No, Rosie, you're too small. Why don't you draw some snowflakes instead? Rosie draws snowflakes. These scissors are just for big kids like Sarah and me. What do I do next? Cut the corners very carefully. Then, cut all around the edges to make different designs. 
Then you unfold the paper and ta-da! 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 Very good, Rosie. Caillou was proud of his snowflake. And he noticed something very special about it. Look, they're different, just like real snowflakes. Gilbert, look, we made snowflakes. I guess Caillou really did teach Gilbert a new trick after all. <laughs> to skate. He especially loved to skate really, really fast. Look how fast I can go. Wow, you're as fast as a rocket. Whoa! Oopsie daisy. <laughs> Uppy daisy. Caillou could remember when he was just as shaky on skates as his little sister. He was very proud to be such a good skater now. Hi, Billy. Hi, Caillou. Caillou loved to watch the big kids play hockey. They could skate so fast, he wanted to be just like them. What do you say, sport? Had enough? How about a cup of hot chocolate? Daddy, can I play hockey too? Oh, I don't know, Caillou. I'm big enough now, and I'm a good skater. As fast as a rocket. Well, that's true. But I don't think you're big enough to play on a team. I could play with Billy. Well, let's ask him. Billy! Can I play hockey with you sometime? If you don't mind. Sure, we're just fooling around. You can play with us whenever you like. Thanks, Billy. Well, I guess we're going to have to get you some equipment. Can I get a real hockey helmet and gloves, like Billy's? You bet. And a stick, too, don't forget. Yay! The next day, Daddy took Caillou to a sports store to buy hockey equipment. This is the second-hand equipment. When kids get too big for their gear, they trade it in here for larger sizes. <laughs> Look, Daddy. <laughs> Too big. Here, try this. Too small. Just right. It doesn't hurt, Daddy. Good. Here, try these on. Let's go. I want to show Mommy and Rosie. Wait a minute. Aren't you forgetting the two most important things of all? I need a stick and a puck. Daddy found a hockey stick, but it was too long for Caillou. So the man in the store cut it to the exact right length. And now Caillou had everything he needed to play hockey with Billy. He was so excited. And this is my hockey stick, and my gloves, and... <laughs> Gilbert, you can't fit in there. Very nice, Caillou. You can knock on my head, and it doesn't even hurt, Rosie. Caillou's head high. <laughs> <laughs> the next day, Daddy helped Caillou practice shooting the puck. Yay! That 
That's a pretty good shot there, sport. Yay! Nice shot, Caillou. That afternoon, Caillou couldn't wait to get on the ice. He knew he was ready to play with the big kids. Take it slow, Caillou. Remember, it's not easy to play hockey. Hey, Caillou. <laughs> oh, oh. oh! Daddy was right. It was harder than Caillou thought it would be. They're pretty good, aren't they? I'm not good enough. I don't want to play anymore. Hey, Caillou. I thought you did pretty well for your first time out. Remember, Billy and his friends have been playing a lot longer than you. I guess so. I've got something for you. This used to be mine when I was young. Wow! Thanks, Daddy. It's a little big yet. <laughs> if you keep practicing, by the time this fits you, you'll be able to play just as well as Billy and his friends. Really? You bet. Now, I think I know a good place to go and practice. Caillou loved going over to skate at Leo's house because he had his very own backyard rink. Whoa! Now you pass it to me. <laughs> Caillou was glad to be practicing with his best friend. He knew they would get better together. with an assist by Caillou. <laughs> that night, Caillou was very tired from all his hockey practice, but he was happy. He knew that someday when he was big enough to wear daddy's jersey, he'd be a really good hockey player. Perfect. Once is not enough. You gotta practice day and night. Over and over and over again. You've gotta practice till it's right. I remember when I wanted to learn to skate. So I practiced over and over again. And soon I could skate great. Practice makes perfect, that's what I say. Practice makes perfect. Every day, practice makes perfect, I'll say it again. Practice and you'll succeed in the end. Playing soccer is hard. It is. You've got to give it your best try. I will. Practice over and over again, and soon you'll kick real high. Practice, practice makes perfect. perfect, that's what I say. Practice, practice makes perfect. Every day, practice makes perfect, I'll say it again. goes to bargaining. <laughs> Caillou was very excited this morning. He couldn't wait to get to play school. You're certainly keen to go to school today, Caillou. Today we're going to bargaining. <gasps> Do you have to bring a toboggan? Yes. I'm going to take my green space racer. Oh, Caillou. Why are you just telling me this now? It's time to go. Don't you know where my toboggan is? I'm not sure. 
We haven't been tobogganing yet this year, but let's look. Quickly. <laughs> Mommy and Caillou looked in the basement. <laughs> and they looked under the stairs. even looked in the attic, but they couldn't find Caillou's toboggan anywhere. I'm sure we'll find your toboggan tonight. But I need it today. I'm sorry, Caillou, but we have to go. Maybe there'll be extra toboggans at school. <sighs> Caillou was sad that he didn't have his toboggan. There are no extra toboggans, Caillou, but I'm sure someone will share theirs with you. Goodbye, Caillou. Try to smile, honey. I'm sure you'll still have fun. Bye, Mommy. I can't wait to go to the park. Did you bring your green space racer, Caillou? No, we couldn't find it. You can use mine. We'll take turns. Thanks, Leo, but I want to have my own toboggan. Come along, everyone. It's time for lunch. Are you finished your lunch? Yes. Good. Can you come with me for a minute? Well, what do you think? It's just an empty box. It is now, but I think you could make it into something else. What? A toboggan. A toboggan? Yes. We used boxes as toboggans all the time. Some of them were really fast. Would it be all right if I decorated it a little? That's a wonderful idea. I bet your friends will help, too. Caillou spent lots of time decorating his box. He wanted it to look extra special. Like a race car, Caillou? No, I want it to look like the bobsleds I saw on TV. Decorate it. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm not sure what has more paint on it the toboggan or your faces. <laughs> <laughs> Let's clean up, everyone. It's almost time to go to the park. <laughs> <laughs> when Caillou and his friends got to the park, they had all sorts of fun playing in the snow. <laughs> Who's ready to go to bargaining? You. What are you waiting for? What if my toboggan won't slide? Miss Martin said it would. 
Come on, I'll race you to the top of the hill. Is everyone ready? Ready? Hmm. Ready! Ready, set, go! Toboggan, Caillou? I want a turn, too. Sure. Everybody can have a turn. Yay! 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 <laughs> Caillou was proud of the toboggan he'd made and was glad it was big enough to share with all his friends.